Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can cut and trim video inside of DaVinci Resolve 16, including the shortcuts that are used to perform as such. So we're working over on the Edit tab, which is generally, of course, where you're going to do most of your video editing. And you may see above the timeline that there are some tools you can select. So the second one from the list here is Trim Edit Mode. You can see that you can go into Trim Edit Mode by hitting T on the keyboard. And then there's also blade edit mode over here, which you can access with B on the keyboard. So blade, med so blade edit mode allows you to make cuts in your video, which is where you essentially slice a video clip into two. So if we hit B to go into blade edit mode, we're able to select any part of any of our video clips that we want to split in half. So for instance, if I was playing through my video clip in the middle here, hitting space or the play button here, and I decided at a certain point, like where that woman just turns around, that I want to make a video cut. By default, there is a snapping function that is turned on automatically. You, you can toggle that on and off with the N key or by clicking on the magnet. Having snapping enabled in this context is going to mean that the blade tool will automatically try to snap the cut to the position you're at in the timeline if your cut is made close to this red line. So that's your current timeline position. Same thing as up here in the preview window. So if I left click there, it's going to make a perfect cut right on that red line we see. You can also make cuts further on or earlier in your timeline the same way but without the snapping just by finding the position and left clicking. Note that as you scrub through the timeline like this, that the current frame will be previewed in the top window. So you can just left click there and make another cut. It's also possible to make cuts by hitting Control B on your keyboard. And you can do this whether you're in blade edit mode or not. So if I go here in the timeline and I hit Control B, you'll see that it immediately slices uh, the first clip into two separate clips. That's essentially how you can make simple blade cuts. One tip I can add on top of that is that if you make your cut and you decide that the right or left side clip is something you just want to get rid of completely, you can hit A to quickly switch to selection mode. Left click the side of the clip that you don't actually want in your final video and then just hit the delete key which will remove it completely. Everything to the right will be rippled over to the left and make sure that your final video is still seamless with no black space. So now we can move back over to the trim tool. So once again, T on the keyboard to select trim edit mode or you can select that second icon above the timeline to the right of the selection mode icon. So trim edit mode will allow you to do a few different things. The first function of which is to either add to the beginning or ending or to remove from it, thus increasing or decreasing the total length of your clip in the timeline. So if I hover over the left side of this rave club scene and I left click, you'll see that I get a red line. What that indicates is that we've reached the end of the source material and we can no longer expand it in that direction. If you just put an entire source clip onto the timeline and you immediately started trimming, you'd see this because your entire source file is in the timeline. So we can't expand trim by left clicking and dragging to the right, but we can shrink it by left clicking and then moving this icon over to the right. Uh, you'll see that since snapping is enabled here, it won't actually start moving until we get a few seconds in. So if you don't like that, you can turn off snapping. And then when you left click on the side and you start trimming it, it will react immediately rather than waiting for you to get far enough away from the snapping line, the edge of the clip. Now, if we left click on the edge of a clip in the timeline that has extra source material, it'll show green. And that means we'll be able to expand the edge of the source clip and actually add some of the source file back into this clip cut in the timeline. So when you left click and hold, you'll see this white box appear around the timeline showing you the edges of the source clip straight into the timeline. So this basically indicates how much material you have left to work with. So you can expand it by left clicking and dragging over to the left up until that white box lines up with the video clip in your timeline and then you'll get the red line again. So likewise, the same thing happens in reverse when you click on the right side, except if you want to expand it, you drag it out to the right. If you want to shrink it, you drag it inwards to the left. Now there's a couple more basic functions you can do inside of trim edit mode. If you hover over the edge of both clips, basically right in the middle between two clips, you can left click and hold in order to adjust the point in the timeline where one clip switches to the other. So this will be really useful when you're trying to match up the shots from one camera to another camera. So if you subtly adjust this and you have two cameras going on uh, of the same scene, then you'll be able to see that exact moment where the two cameras line up and, and that would make for a much smoother transition. 
Aside from that, by the simple nature of adjusting the cut point in the timeline, it's basically going to be expanding or decreasing the length of one clip because you're moving this cut point further to one side, which is going to shrink the duration of one clip while expanding the other. Okay, one more function you can use with the trim tool. If you hover over the thumbnail for a clip, you'll get this little icon with two square brackets on both sides and arrows going in either direction. So when you want the duration of the clip and the timeline to stay the same, but you want to select a different portion of your source material, then you left click and hold, and that'll bring up the white box again, where you can actually drag and affect which part of your source material is going to be showing for that duration in the timeline. So if you made a cut, but you decide later that you want to adjust it a little bit, then you can left click and hold, and then basically slide your source material along until you have exactly the right material that you want for the shot. You'll also notice that while you're doing this, it'll give you a bunch of preview cameras up on the top of the screen, showing the last frame of the left side clip, the clip to the left of the one we're modifying, uh, the first frame of the clip we're modifying as it changes with uh, this adjustment, the right side of the last frame of the clip we're adjusting as shown by the adjustment, and the first frame of the right side clip. So if you are adjusting like this and you're trying to get your shots to match up, then uh, once again those previews will help you figure out exactly the right moment to actually show in your final video. So that's the basics of how you can do cutting and trimming inside of DaVinci Resolve, including the hotkeys and shortcuts that you can use in order to make that happen. So I've been Chris, I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.